was announced too that Coach Steve Kerr is a NBA Coach of the Year, uh, leading his team to 73 wins, even though he started off the year with Luke Walton as the head coach. Um, but he came in and the team only lost nine games all year. And a lot of people say that even though he wasn't coaching on the sidelines in the beginning, he still had a lot of influence on the team and really helped guide Coach Walton on his way. Uh, and coach, um, just on a personal level, he's a great community. You know, he knows how to get his point across. He knows how to help you, encourage you when you need it, uh, give you instruction when you need it. And I mean, just from a, a team philosophy, I mean, he put you in a great position to get better to succeed. So uh, not only have I benefited a lot from you know, him being here, but just a, as a team, you know, we've gotten so much better. And, we should have won the last year, but you know, I was glad they won this year. I'll come down to Bond Wall and have fun with you and Luke. I'll come down to Bond Wall and have fun with Steve. He's going to say something. That was the transition. <laughs> So Steve Kerr redeems himself after last year not winning, even though they ended up winning the NBA championship last year. And now he's the NBA coach of the year in his second year as a coach in the NBA. I was excited. You know, just to you know, see him win coach of the year, you know, that's amazing. I thought he was ready last year. You know, so to see him, I thought he was ready And Anderson with KDL Sports, and we're wrapping up from the Warriors facility. We'll catch you on the rebound. <laughs>